Now inside here is a package I've been very excited to open recently. This is a new product from Sail Video System, a new way of mounting your Insta360 action cameras and various other cameras is all tucked away in here. It's gonna get you shots like this. And maybe a shot like this. And maybe even another little shot like this one. So let's dive in and see what comes in the package. Very Open carefully, this. so I don't cut anything on the inside. Safely packaged packet inside a packet. I can hear all the juicy goodness already rattling around in there. have a little spread out and see what we've got. Sail video system camera mounts. This is actually, those of you guys that have been following this channel at all, this is the same mounting brand that I use for my windsurfing harness mount. So it's a similar sort of setup like this one that I've got here with this sort of star shaped plate and the locking system just there. Except on the windsurfers, I fix this onto my harness. So far, for water sports, for bike sports, for snow sports and everything else we needed to carry some sort of a harness mount or a backpack to make this work the whole idea of this is it's kind of a, a shoulder strap if you like so this system that comes around here straight out the box you can see it's ready to go this is like a I suppose a brassiere for lack of better words and this thing will stick out your back and the idea is that this little locking system here will lock this pole in its position. Let's open this up and see how this goes. Okay, so I've got this right. This bit is going to attach onto here. You can spin it around. Solid bit of kit just there. That camera's not going anywhere with this on this one. This here, then you could just about see those interlocking teeth there. So when I put it into the mount here, get it the right way around, open, close. Right now it's sticking out at a 90 degree angle from the mount. If I then loosen this little piece off, you can see I can change that mount super easy, up or down. And when those teeth lock back into position, it's going nowhere. Crank it up nice and tight. And you know what? The cool thing about this, straight out the box, little safety leash you can see there would go up in the end. But that is literally straight out the box and ready to go. All I need to do from here is attach the camera to the end. So I've got my Insta360 in its usual sleeve just here. That's how I store them, keep them nice and safe. I remove the little thread. That's the, the helmet mount that I've been using earlier today. The screw, the bolt, straight out the box, a perfect match, and in she goes. That's it, locked and loaded, ready to strap her on, as it were, and get going. The other little piece you noticed I pulled out and just popped to one side a moment ago there, that's this little noggin here. So this is a ball and socket adapter mount, so I can loosen it off and change the angle. So maybe you haven't got a 360 mount, you've got a normal camera. What you could do instead, I say a normal camera, you've got a non-360, an old school GoPro, as it were. You can screw this piece on the end, get it done up nice and tight, and then you can put your GoPro onto the end of it just like that. So it doesn't have to be a 360 camera to make a cool view from this. So here it is, locked and loaded, camera installed, straps adjusted to my size, the sail video system shoulder mount ready to go. Two arms in. Click it on. 
and I'm ready to go. There's a little bit of swing weight, but I can't imagine that's going to be enough to affect the camera. The stability settings inside the X3 are amazing, so I think this bit of movement will be fine. If I really wanted to, I could probably pull these a bit tighter, but at this sort of strength, it feels comfortable. On, when I get to the lift, off it comes. And a quick tip, not about the, uh, the shoulder mount itself, but about the cameras and protecting them around the mountains, whatever else you're doing, keep using these little neoprene sleeves. They come with the cameras when you buy them new. Mine stays on that until I'm ready to hit go. And off we ski. Up and over. Let's go. Ready. Let's go for a ski and see what we can do. Okay, there it is, up on the back, locked, loaded, connected, and ready to drop. Let's see what sort of shot we can get in what I'm going to deliberately do with some kind of tracked out off piece terrain. This is far from smooth, but hopefully that shoulder mount camera is keeping the view looking pretty good. So just then, what you saw, that camera sticking out roughly 45 degrees behind me just there. Let's mix it up. Let's see if we can get a different kind of cool angle. Quick release. Fully square, like actually 90 degrees sticking out the back of me just now. Going to hit record. Get these two little straps over the mount, over the back. Clip and we're ready to go. Let me show you that from a different angle now. Full 90 degree, looking like some sort of transformer monster. How are we looking? Don't forget, if you are loving this, by the way, the details are all in the description. Make sure you use that link to follow it through. And also look out for the windsurfing harness mount too, that's the one I use a lot in the summer. How did that look? Very quick release, just as I get to the lift, turn the camera off, two seconds to turn it back on at the top. Let's go. So that was set square to my back, as you can see. What I think I'm gonna try this time, really to show you how versatile, how different this is. Loosen that off and point it almost vertical. Tighten it up nice and tight. And then unlock, take this thing out. And you can see the little star shapes. If I get it in the sun there. So this thing's got a few different options of how sideways or crisscross you can have it. How should we go? Should we go fully 90 degrees to my back? That's gonna be the view that we're looking at just now. Let's see how this one turns out. So yes, cameras everywhere. Over the right shoulder. You can see I've got that shoulder mount design now hanging off the side.
How's the view? What do you reckon? Don't forget, let me know in the comments what you think of this is what's going on. Let's try one other view while we're here. Going 45 degrees up over my right shoulder. Whew, look about a breath. That was such good condition. Yes, I've got cameras everywhere. And while I'm swinging this one, whoop, up and over, <laughs> up and over the unicorn mount. If you are thinking you want an Insta X3, make sure you order them through the link in the description. And if you haven't already, of course, hit like and subscribe and tell me what you think of this kit and these cameras and everything I'm using. But here we are, last little drop, right shoulder, like a parrot on my wing. So there you have it, the sail video system, shoulder mounting bracket, perfect for hands-free water, land, snow sports, running, hiking, kayaking, skiing, snowboarding, windsurfing like I'm going to be doing a lot of, and a big one I think is kite surfing, getting it hands-free, and winging of course, if you're not into winging, find out what else is going on my channel, there's plenty happening there, rock solid, highly recommend the sail video system mountings. Whether it's this one, or if you have a look elsewhere on the channel, you'll find where I've been using the sail video systems harness mount. A very similar sort of thing, but it bolts onto the back of my windsurf harness, making it super strong and getting some really cool drone style, invisible selfie stick style shots like you can get with these crazy 360 cameras. Speaking of which, if you haven't already got your Insta X3, and you're thinking it's time to get one, there's a link in the description of this video. Make sure you buy it through the link and they're throwing in extra cheeky little freebies, be it the selfie stick that I mentioned just a moment or two ago or various other things. The offers are changing by the week as they run out and then they get other stuff and then they change the mind and put new things in there. So follow that link through to Insta360's homepage and see what bonus bits are getting thrown in this week. If you haven't already, don't forget to whack subscribe, give me a little like down at the bottom of this channel. There's loads of other things on the channel that hopefully will interest you if you're into using the 360 cameras and other little tricks of the trade. Apart from that, I will see you on the snow, on the water, very soon. Thanks very much.